More than a million people in Wisconsin have been vaccinated with at least one dose of the coronavirus vaccine. That's about 18% of the state's population. 10% have gotten both doses. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says more people are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 than people who have had the virus since the start of the pandemic. And they have new guidelines for those who are fully vaccinated. The CDC says those people can visit with other fully vaccinated people and they don't need a mask or social distancing. They also have a new guidance for visits between someone who is vaccinated and someone who isn't. CDC recommends that fully vaccinated people can visit with unvaccinated people from one other household indoors without wearing masks or physical distancing as long as the unvaccinated people and any unvaccinated members of their household are not at high risk for severe COVID-19 disease. The CDC also says if a fully vaccinated person is exposed to COVID-19, there is no need for that person to quarantine as long as they're asymptomatic. Health officials say these new guidelines are a look at what life may be like as vaccinations ramp up. For now, they only impact a small amount of the population, but vaccinations are picking up every week. Francisco Almanar has you covered tonight on what could come next. This time tomorrow, the Alliant Energy Center will be full of MMSD teachers and staff getting their first doses of the coronavirus vaccine. They'll be joining the thousands of people already vaccinated in the county as the list of fully vaccinated people grows. For now, that sits at over 12%, and these new CDC guidelines helps make life a little bit more normal. Dr. Jeff Podoff says he can imagine fully vaccinated people getting dinner together or visiting family members in small groups. Large family gatherings are still out of the question unless everyone is fully vaccinated. If, if you don't need to seek out other people or certainly if you don't need to seek out large group activities, don't do it. Uh, you know, th there's always a little bit of risk there. He says they're still studying to learn how transmissible vaccinated people are. Once they find that out, they could come out with more lenient guidelines. For those without the vaccine or fully vaccinated, Dr. Podoff says to continue those safe habits that have dropped case counts over the past few months. But barring any major outbreak in the coming months, Dr. Podoff says it's likely we'll be able to return back to a pre-pandemic life by the summer. In Madison, Francisco Almanara, 27 News.